appreciate the opportunity this morning, Coach. Yeah. Obviously, with uh, with Mark Smith, you you knew that he could score. You knew he could rebound. Some leadership there. What all has he meant to your team this season? I think the biggest thing is his steps. Um, just getting a, a, for him a better feel of the game. Uh, you know, understanding when to go, when not. To, you know, just want to go every time, and you can't do that. And I, I thought the the last few weeks just playing at a better pace, uh, better with better poise, and, and and taking what the game gives him. Uh, you know. The, the, the big thing then too, he wants to win and, and that he's taken it on himself to, uh, you know, be a little more vocal leader, uh, talk to our, talking to our guys, helping our guys. Uh, and I, I, he, we've talked and he, he wants to coach down the road. Obviously everyone wants to play for a while and that's great. You got teams and goals, but he wants to coach. And I told him that this is a, chance to a little bit of an internship, you know, as a player, the guy, you know, coach Southwell, Chester Fraser, you know, all through the years to Jaron Howard guys that, you know, I've had, you know, they've, they've used Matt Painter, Conzo Mark, you know, they, they use their time as players to learn the game, to uh, study the game, to, to be leaders, to, you know, be involved in the recruiting, all of those things. So, uh, you know, Mark's taking advantage of it. And, you know, the other thing I just, kind of joke with them back in December, this is it. They're not giving you another COVID year. So you you got to make the most of it. And uh, he appreciates the opportunity and, uh, just, you know, just happy for him that uh, he's really blended in and, and been a really good teammate uh, and above and beyond all the other stuff. I think that's been his best attribute so far. Now you've known him for a number of years. What is he, maybe, maybe what's one or two things that he's doing that is even surprising to you? Well, I, I think I said this back in December. I, I was kind of surprised by his athleticism. I didn't know, you know, you see the big body. He doesn't have that long basketball body that, you know, guys are bouncing and, you know, flying around. He, he's got that, you know, I would say he's bull in the China shop or, and he's definitely not the China in that, in that equation. So, you know, he, um, he's, and he jumps better than I, than I thought. So, you know, I, I think that's, that's been the biggest surprise uh, for me. And, and I, and that's what I've encouraged and the coaches have encouraged, use your body, use that athleticism. And that's, that, I think that rebounding part has become, uh, you know, it's, it's obviously he's one if leader in the league or one of the leaders in the league, uh, it's been a really good weapon for us. And uh, then he can get to the, you know, using, starting to learn how to use the body and get to the basket. Uh, we always talk about grind out layups, take the other player's space. And he's really learning to use that, that big body and take up space and, and get to the hoop. Thanks, Coach. Okay. Uh, next, next question to Michael Goins. Yeah, Bruce, how much has uh, defense really kind of predicated your offensive turnaround and ability to, to get to the basket a little better? Well, I, I you know our, our defense has been pretty solid. I, I think it's been decent all year. Uh, you know, we are one of the best in the country at defending the three. Um, I think the, the big thing is, uh, you know, keeping people out of the paint. You know, can we get in the paint and can – they get out of paint, uh, you know, keep them out of paint. And, um, you know, that's, that's a, you know, we'll, you know, there, you're going to have your games where you make your jump up and make six, seven, eight, but uh, and you, you, you know, you eat baskets and that's going to be a key tomorrow. We got to keep them. We got to make them earn baskets. We got to keep them from hitting stuff. They're sets and they're out of bounds plays. They're really good on the uh, special teams type situations and, uh, they take advantage of you on every, every aspect of the game, uh, you know, and then, you know, when we do get stops, obviously that allows us to get in transition and, and we've gotten a little better in that. Not, not as much the advantage, break, but, you know, you, I mean, how many layups have we gotten? How many layups has anyone gotten in the last few weeks on in transition? We talked about the Texas tech game. I don't, they had two possessions in transition. Um, you know, and that's going to be a key tomorrow, I'll limit their easy ones. But, you know, what we've done a pretty good job of is that kind of secondary break where, 
you know, they got three, four guys back and we're making better decisions, uh, attacking, getting the paint, getting it side to side and, and making it tough on defense. It seems like you've almost gotten into some delayed some various situations that have been beneficial for you. Yeah, I, I think they're starting to learn and they're, you know, they're starting to learn to, what to look for. Uh, you know, some of it, you know, I'm just getting guys back together. Some of us having practice together. Uh, but other, you know, too, they they had to kind of learn. You can't, especially in this league, you can't do it by yourself. What do you have? All ten teams are in the top forty in defense leads. Somebody told me that last night, you know, on the, on the radio show. Um, you know, and I, and again, I don't know if that's a fact or not. But uh, you know, in this league, you you're not going to do things on your own. You got to move the defense and then use the space and use angles to get opportunities. And how do you express Sultan's overall value to this in the season? Well, I, I, you know, he texted me late the other night when we got back about one thirty, and then, you know, just like, Hey coach, I'm sorry. I haven't played. I, I should be playing and this and that. And I, and I just texted him back plus 13. He was the highest on the plus minus on the team. You know, and I said, you are valuable. You, you got to realize that, and that, you know, and that, you know, I think maybe a little part of our you know, maturation as a team, starting to figure out roles a little more uh, and, and you know, taking pride in those roles. I think that's, you know, Marquise's ability to get in a paint and create and get assists, you know, just you guys figuring out some things they can do, um, you know, and, and, you know, I just, so we, he's, he's been, he's been very positive. I, I'd like him to be a little more confident shooting a three when he gets it. He, if he's open, shoot it. You know, he, I know he can make it. We watch him in practice all the time. And, um, you know, he, you know hope, hope he's going to jump up and make a couple of them tomorrow. Thank you, Coach. Yep. Next question to Kellis. Hey, Bruce, I got little kids running around the background here, so I'll just leave the video off. Um, but uh, it's been a while since you guys have, uh, you know, had a, a max max crowd at Bramlage. You got a little taste when the students came out for Kit this year. I'm just wondering if, if a big crowd does turn out tomorrow, how much will that help you? Well, I hope it helps us and doesn't hinder us. You know, I think sometimes I thought that time against Marquette, you know, we were trying to make, uh, you know, the home run play, the big play. And, instead of the simple play, you know, and that, you know, that's the big thing. We got to keep our, uh, our, our, you know, approach the game, just like the ones we've just done in, in the last few games uh, that we just finished and, um, you know, be solid, discipline, toughness, uh, sharing the ball, making the simple basketball play. That's the way you're going to win. Uh, you know, one of the things we had program come in here and the guy kept telling them, you don't get up for big games. Your habit and your discipline go up in big games. And and that's, you know, that's, I think it's going to be really important to them. And you obviously survived with super small ball against Texas. Had an option against Kansas or with their front court, do you have to go a little bigger? I think, you know, at times they go small too. And, and you know, you're going to have that opportunity and, um, you know, Mark Smith guard a lot of people. I'm not sure I want to put him on McCormick for 40 minutes, but uh, you know, he, he we put him on uh, Williams. We put him on, you know, the Texas bigger guys. So, uh, you know, we, you know, here and there you can maybe do it, but you know, obviously, gonna our bigs. It would be nice if our bigs kind of, you know, do give us a little more production. And I, and I, to me, it's gonna be playing great defense. I, I think that's the biggest thing. They, we talked yesterday, it's moving your feet and, and giving us a great effort on the defensive end and hopefully getting a couple rebounds, a, a bonus basket or two here and make a couple free throws. Um, you know, it would be a, it would be positive for us. And let, last one for me, do you think the transfers are prepared for, you know, what the, the energy that comes along with this rivalry or have you, you help them understand that at all? I think we got to be careful, uh, you know, not making it bigger than it is. Uh, you know, we just played two really good teams. Texas Tech beat Kansas. Um, you know, it's a big game, but you gotta you gotta play the game the right way. And again, you can't. We can't. You know, it's it's a big game. I understand that, but and but we also got to approach it the same way. Our preparation has got to be good. Our scouting has got to be good. We got to be locked in. All that stuff. Our, our understanding that 
you know, it's the simple play, the good basketball play that that's going to help us win and the discipline and toughness on the defensive end. And then to play hard, you know, getting on the floor, you know, the loose balls, you, Oklahoma, you know, you, you watch that one, they hills on the floor, got a steep, you know, got a deflection, got a, a floor, loose ball, dished it to somebody, went down the other end, got a layup and a hand one and, you know, gave them a chance. You know, it's just, uh, Kansas made the big shot down the stretch, but you know, those are the things that are important. All right. Thanks Bruce. Good luck tomorrow. Yeah. Thank you. Next question to Wyatt. Good morning, coach. I guess a couple of questions here real quick. What, what do you see in terms of the improvement with Ochai and, and Brown more than anything else? And then what about Remy Martin? Nobody's talking talked about him. I know he's been injured a little bit, but he, I'm, I'm going to guess you would tell me that he brings a little different dynamic to the table if he's available. To go. Yeah, I think if they can get him cooking like he's capable of, you know, it would add a whole other dimension to their team because, you know, we've seen him. We, you know, we faced him years ago, you know, out in Vegas and, uh, you know, we watched him play against Kansas and, and, and Allen and, and play unbelievable. And, uh, you know, so he could, I think, again, he's figuring out their system and what they want, when he should go, when he shouldn't. And, uh, and, and then the, the, the discipline part on the defensive end, the switching, all the stuff they do. But, you know, I, I, those other two are just playing, you know, like seniors, like older guys should. They uh, very, very confident. Uh, they play off each other. I, I, you know, when you shoot 47, 50 from three, yeah, that's that's like that's impressive. We don't we got guys that don't make fifty on layups. So, but he gets good shots and he's shooting with a lot of confidence. And you know, for him, the you know Oklahoma no points in the you know what first thirty minutes, thirty two minutes, and then get you know down the stretch make big shots for them. Uh, really important. And Christian Braun just seems to make the big play at the right time. Uh, you know, he just he, he unbelievable, crafty, smart. Got you know he's bigger than you you really realize he's probably six seven or so uh, can guard a lot of spots switches on the, you know their defense he always great on scouting report um, you know he's they both just gotten better and better there's no doubt about it and, and you know I I love it it's it's you know we talk about the portal and that but those guys are pretty impressive that they've been there and they they've done what they're supposed to that's what college basketball. I, did a bunch of media stuff, this thing, you know, with the new portal, does Barry Brown and Dean, Dean Wade and Cam Stokes, do they have the careers that they, you know, have because they, they stayed here and improved just like those guys have done at Kansas. It's, it's the good part of college basketball that, you know, I, that I appreciate and I hope other people appreciate. Michael, do you have a uh, next question to you? Yeah, Bruce, have you kind of kept guys on an even keel with the four-game losing streak? Now you're going back to back, overranked. How do you how do you kind of keep guys just all right? We've got uh, what twelve more to go in conference. Well, I just I told them we're still in last place. <laughs> you know, I know. You know, so we got. You know, we we have we have some goals, some things we want to accomplish. Um, and you know, last yesterday at the end of practice, I said, guys, we've, we've done great. We've taken two nice steps, but we're still in last place. And, uh, you know, you, you got to keep the focus and it, it's, you know, it's going to be a long grind. It's, you see the league. I mean, it, if we, if we could have the good fortune to find a way to win tomorrow and get three up to three, we could be in the middle of the pack that, you know, that's how mixed up it is. So I, um, and then uh, the other part is that it's just, it's them also, it's that maturity of, uh, getting ready to play and and understanding how important it is. And uh, when we get back from, uh, you know, uh, late, my last message in, in the airport the other night was, you know, remember a week ago, we were just rid being ridiculed. And, and now you've got to remember, you've got to keep what you just said an even keel. You can't, you can't listen to all the outside noise and, and whether it's the, the good or the bad. And, and you got to keep focused on what, what we're all trying to do as a group. Thanks for your time. Yeah. 
Uh, next question to Grant. Hey, Coach. I know um, Mark was, was key in those those two wins, but it, it seemed like Nigel Pack and, and Mike McGraw were also really key as well. So talk about what they've been able to do, really, Nigel all season, and then Mike McGraw these last two games really being sharp. Well, I think, you know, Mike McGraw, I, I, you know, first of all, to go, you know, sit out, he, he had the flu and then he had COVID. Um, it hasn't gone like he had, you know, envisioned it, but to have the maturity to come back one day of practice, and I just, I, I just told him I need a smile, um, I need energy, um, and and you know, and I just need you to make simple basketball plays. And I thought the last two games he's been efficient and in you know in pace, you know, just as he's been in his career. So, um, you know, really happy for him and proud of him. I hope he keeps doing this, uh, you know, and it, and 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 be efficient. I think that's important. You know, Nigel is. You know, he's he's been pretty good for us, even with the ins and outs of the different injuries and things he's had to deal with. Um, you know, he is I think I know he's more confident, um, you know, and, and feeling like we keep telling him, like at the end of the game against Texas, the ball's in your hands. You make the play. You don't have to give it to somebody else. Now you can make a play off of when, you know, get an assist. But. You know, we want you to make the plays. I think he's starting to get a better feel of that. And I'm really proud of him. They they got him into two. Uh, they wanted him to be the guy guarding down the stretch. And, uh, you know, he got on two switches, and and he was the one who manned up. And uh, Jones missed one, and then Carr missed one down the stretch. And he, he was the one guarding them, uh, you know, in those last two possessions. So... Uh, you know, taking a little more pride on the defense of them. And then what does uh, Carlton Lingard need to do to get more into that rotation? Well, you know, I, I think you saw in the game that he, he's still like, he's got to get, you know what he really needs? He needs non-conference. <laughs> he needs a trip to Europe. He needs playing time. Uh, he needs practice time. And, and, you know, just to get, this is a young man that hasn't played since junior college and did high school played, you know, not in a high level thing. He didn't really play AU. So this is all new to him and uh, he can move his feet. He can do some things. Our other guys, he's, he's tall. He's like, we looked the other day, he's maybe two inches taller than, Dave, than Davion. So it's like unbelievable. He keeps growing. Maybe that's why he's had such knee issues. Um, but, you know, just being stronger, more confident, uh, you know, he, he's a great free throw shooter and he goes over four, you know, it's just, I think just um, feeling better about himself, more confident. And, and, you know, the problem is, you know, we're in the middle of this league and this grind this you know, best league in the country. Uh, and, you know, you don't have time to just, uh, you know, let him get some leisurely minutes to feel a little better about himself. So, Every day in practice, we tell him he's got it. We told him yesterday, you got it. You got to be more assertive. You got to be more aggressive. You got to be more confident. And and I hope it just slowly but surely comes. And then as a coach, how do you you know when you have two tough opponents ahead? How do you focus all your attention on Kansas and not look ahead to Baylor, or do you allow yourself to give you a chance to look at Baylor? Well, the coaches are, they got the scouts and they, they're, they're watching whoever's got Baylor's watching that, uh, you know, and then, you know, we all sit down together. We sat yesterday for a couple of hours. We sat down even Wednesday afternoon. And, you know, you talk about Kansas as a group, cause we, everyone has input, everyone, you know, the main coach has the scout, but we want everyone's voice, more eyes, more voices, uh, you know, the more ideas, uh, you know, the better you're going to be. So, uh, I mean, we, and we just got to worry about this game. I mean, it's just, you know, it's just, it's just part of the league. It's part of the, the grind of, of being in the big 12, uh, which, you know, I said before, I didn't ever think it would get better, but it, it might be the best that I know I've been part of probably the best in the history of the league. Uh, you know, when you look at numbers, it's, it's unbelievable. And then you play in these games, it's, it's amazing. Last one I got. Do you feel that COVID fog still, or are you starting to feel a lot better? I, I you know, the last two days, I, I actually have started to feel a little better. Um, and, you know, I, I still get tired. I, I, I did, I went to bed at midnight, 12, 15 last night watching film, but, um, you know, I, I, 
it, it's still, it's funny. And I've talked to Wyatt about it. Like every, and coach Lowry's going through it every day. It's like a little different symptom comes up that, you know, you're sneezing one day and the next day you got a throat and then the next day you, you're tired. And it's just, it's an interesting uh, virus. That's for sure. And, but I've read some articles, it, it say about three weeks and I'm getting, I'm on uh, day 18 or 19 now. So I'm hoping that I'm, I'm getting to the, to the end. I'm sure it helps to win too. Thank you, coach. I appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, next question to Arnie. Yeah. You, Bruce, you talked about not overemphasizing the rivalry, but uh, the fact that really Mike may be the only one that's really experienced it because of the COVID last year. Is that something you have him maybe talk to them about or, or anything just because it is a little bit different atmosphere. Yeah, I, I think a little bit just, you know, it, it just, we got to focus on what we do well and, and, and the stuff we've just done the last two games. And, and, you know, that's the most important thing. And I'm not downgrading can't can't so I believe they're the best team in the league. They're in first place. They're the highest scoring team. You know, I'm not downgrading them by any means because they're, and they got two of the best players that, you know, are tough to really deal with. And, uh, but we, I think the big thing is we got to be just ready to do what we do. And we got to guard, we got to, we got to rebound. We got to make, we got to share the basketball, make simple basketball plays. And that's what we got to focus on. I think that's, uh, I think for these guys, that's, that's more important to focus on that than, uh, you know, and, and then you hope the crowd becomes a factor. The crowd becomes a factor because, because of the, what we do on the court, not, not what they do. And then if you do good stuff on the court, then the crowd jumps in. And then that's when the other team, the fatigue, the stress, the mental, you know, the mental anxiety, and then the crowd throws into that, that, that can make a difference. There's no doubt about that. Any other questions for coach, just to follow up on his uh, initial, uh, question all 10 teams are in the top 35 and adjusted defense actually the the lowest one is 35 so that's pretty uh pretty incredible so uh and seven of the 10 in the top 40 in scoring defense so any other questions for coach before we let him go appreciate everybody's patience okay coach this looks like we all have all the questions answered i appreciate your time good luck tomorrow thank you as thank always you. for the time all right appreciate thank you guys, guys.